prog, do you think women are under pressure to look marketable? We've touched on this um, a minute ago and behave in a certain way, maybe demurely, Mariana, um, even when it's supposedly the music that matters. That's the message that we often get. It's the music that matters, but do we have to conform? I, you know, I can rant about this for a very long time, but I think... Crack on. <laughs> oh, no, you don't want that. <laughs> uh, but I think that in prog, we don't have that problem as much as, say, in, like, metal music, because there are so many, I'm sorry about using this term, but female-fronted metal bands, which almost became a genre of its own, which is not supposed to happen. Uh, but uh, I... I never had people judge me for the way, say, I dress on stage or look on stage or talk to the audience. Probably because it's like prog circles are quite open-minded in this regard. And I know that I wouldn't get away with this if I were playing, say, metal music and be all that trying to fit in the genre and kind of... But it's also very sad because uh, all those metal singers are trying to kind of look appropriate to the genre, which I think they're being manipulated into doing which is not doing any of us any good because kind of audience starts to expect that from all of us. Like I'm going to be wearing corset and being all sexy and everything. But what if I don't want to be sexy? Mm. What if I want to be witty and smart and talented and write good songs? But still make that music. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't have to have and, and that's the thing because they are not looking into the music. They're looking into how that looks on stage. And I don't think this is what we're supposed to be focusing on. Mm. Heather? Um, well, I, I, I do know a lot of female, um, metal singers, um, in some of the, you know, the, the genre that, um, Mariana was talking about. And, um, I don't know, maybe those women like to dress like that, but they are actually witty and smart and clever and great songwriters as well. And maybe that being able to, um, express themselves in terms of how they look, beautify themselves maybe that's part of the deal for them maybe they just enjoy you know be, being looking beautiful as well as being amazingly talented and clever and you know doing a what's commonly known as a, a man's thing in a man's world but you know maybe there's another side to it as well I think it can be a really positive element as well as a um, band called Covet that um, probably know who have a female guitarist, a vet, and went to see them a couple of times in the last month when they were touring with Polyphy. And the um, the crowd at no point, stand, uh, from the impression that I got anyway, stood there watching her in a, this is a novelty, this is a girl dressed in a skimpy outfit. She, she doesn't come across like that. She comes across as somebody who's very confident in her own talent and everyone that interacted with her interacted with her in the sense of this is a competent guitarist and I have full um, you know, respect for what she's doing. So I do think that there are shoots of green everywhere in the scene that you can absolutely find. Um, I'm, I'm not in any way saying, oh, she looked drab and she didn't look, at, um, she didn't look like she'd made any effort at, at all to go on stage. She looked absolutely beautiful, but she didn't conform to any... Um, image requirements, for example, you know, she she looked like a normal person in the same way that is is there a prog uniform for the men that are playing? I mean, men have far less choice to some extent for what they're wearing what on they the stage. Wear, yeah. So are they confined as much as the women are confined in their own? And that's your next question. question. And then you can wear Still a dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Amanda Lehman um, plays a lot with Steve Hackett, comes on for two or three songs during the set. And she is a fabulous guitarist, otherwise she wouldn't be there. And she just comes on and she does her thing and she sings her bit. And the audience absolutely love her and she's very welcomed on stage. Mm. And so I think that that's really nice and really positive. And I've actually never thought of it as a woman coming on stage in the middle of the set until you were just talking. Mm. And it, you know, the, the audience embrace it, which is really nice. Yeah, I think I think you, I think you're right. Mm.